everyone, this is DV of the BRC, aka the Backroom Crew, and today I'm going to bring you a review of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now, yeah, that movie title is long, but this movie is it deserving of that title because it's that good. Now, this is a sequel to the 2011 movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, you saw a chimpanzee named Caesar pretty much start the ape revolution and take all of his apes and gorillas, orangutans and everything into the forest uh, in San Francisco past the Golden Gate Bridge. Now this movie is the follow up to that to where he's pretty much lived, you know, they live by themselves, start their own community and they've been there for 10 years and he's pretty much the king of the apes he's like he's their leader he's you know everyone respects them because he, he you know led them away from their captivity and everything because they were being experimented on they were locked up in cages and everything like that you know they were considered just beasts but he is their hero like all of the apes admire him and pretty much treat him as a king now um, they're not aware of what is going on in the outside world, you know. Um, so they pretty much are surprised when they actually discover that humans are still alive. The human characters and the ape characters, they were all very well portrayed. I think they had good character development. You know, it wasn't anything that was like uh, too much, but it was just enough to let you know that okay I actually do kinda care about these characters and I do you know do hope that they're gonna they're, they're gonna end up you know happy or anything like that or you know live through this because the movies just it starts off where it, you know it's just calm but it builds up tension and the tension skyrockets and then by the end of the movie you're just like, yeah, if they make a sequel to this, shit's going to go down. Definitely. It's going down in the next movie, which they actually already said they're going to make a three or four. I don't know what it would be. But since it would be a prequel, would it be three or would it be like in continuity to the other Planet of movies? Not really sure how that would work, but it's something look it's something to look forward to anyway. But overall, I really like this movie. This movie had good story. It had the animation and the CGI of this movie was phenomenal. It was actually better than what it was in the first movie. Um you could kind of still tell that it was, you know, 3D, but it was very well done. Very well done for, you know, everything that they did. And you really felt like, even though some of it seemed like it seemed like you could tell at points where it's really CGI, you could tell, like, okay, this, the movements that they've got, the everything that they're doing like you could tell it was what a chimpanzee or a monkey or, or no sorry no monkey ape a chimpan chimpanzee or ape you could tell it was what they do like the movements of caesar you could tell that was the same movements that a chimpanzee would do i guess it goes back to rise of planet apes when i first you know looked at rise of planet apes I was a little skeptical on it but coming to this movie, like coming to Rise of Planet Apes, I really, I like Rise and this movie just made me like the franchise even more. Like it just made me feel like, okay, this, this second part of the prequels is probably going to go down as one of the great, like, second parts in trilogies. Like, you know, Dark Knight. Or Godfather 2 or Terminator 2, you know, stuff like that. 
Now, I'm not saying that it's as good, you know, but for me, I think it's in that bracket to where it's it's going to be known for years to come. Like, I think people are going to look back on this movie and be like, yeah, that was one of the great movies in the trilogy. That movie really, like, it, it gave you a lot more meaning than other movies did, I believe. Especially movies nowadays where they don't really give you that much meaning. But anyway, I have to say that my rating for the movie would have to be about a 4.8. Well, 4.8 out of 5. I didn't really find that many flaws in the movie. Um, a lot of it, it kept me excited. It kept me on the edge of my seat. And I really enjoyed it. So, this has been DB. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, give us some feedback. You know, if you felt different about the movie, you know, let us know down in the comments below. You know, we also have Facebook and Twitter. Just comment on that. Let us know how you feel about it. All right. See you.